Hey guys, it's Albert again and in today's video I would like to show you how to create custom product slider using query loops you actually see on my screen right now. If you haven't had any chance to check them out yet, I will leave the link in the left top corner but also in the description down there below. If you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, please do so as this helps me making videos even better. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's not waste the time and let's get down to the business. But first... I am already in the BFIM dashboard, so let's start from creating a new page. Let's add a new one. And I will call this page just maybe custom product slider and also uh, I will choose the template to be a blank page because I don't want to have any footer or header on this page just the slider I'm going to show you okay so uh, let's go to the B builder right now as the page has already been created and we can start creating our page so the first thing I'm going to create is the section and inside the section I want to wrap and the next step let's go to the settings of the section and let's select the query loop type and the query type is gonna be the posts the post type is gonna be the product and I want to display the products from all categories and maybe for this tutorial I will display the products on sale only and I think I am fine with the whole rest okay let's populate our wrap with some elements inside so what I actually the first element I actually need is the image so let's add the image and I want this image to be the featured image of the product so what I'm going to do is to remove the default path for the image and sorry not this one but I have to click this dynamic data button and I have to select the product image as you can see right now um, there is a couple of products that just appeared on the screen uh, they actually appeared as the kind of list because I simply forgot to set the settings to be it a slider so uh, what I have to do right now is switch to this sorry uh, I have to go to the settings of the section and in the style tab container I have to set uh, the display type to slider and uh, what else I need uh, as I want the free products to be in the column uh, let me check in on my other screen when I have all the settings already set uh, because I don't remember what exactly I had here so uh, yes I wanted the infinite loop to be on and uh, I don't want the auto play speed here I want to display the arrows uh, the arrow style has to be standard uh, I don't need the dots here my mouse wheel can be disabled and the center mode can be disabled as well all right so uh, as you can see I have a simple slider uh, with just the three products on the screen and the arrows on the side all right so let's get back to the slider and uh, let's populate it with some more elements but first I think uh, I just want to change the background for the featured images because as you already saw a bit earlier on the screen the featured um, image for the product have a grey background so in the advanced background tab of the image I have to set the background to be a grey color perfect right uh, I can um, go and populate the uh, slider with elements again and the next one is gonna be the heading uh, this is where I would like to have my title uh, and I would like my title 
to be uh, the title of the product. So what I have to do is remove the default title, click again on the dynamic data icon next to the title field and select the product title uh, dynamic data. Perfect. Uh, what else I need is I want this heading to be paragraph tag and not the big one as I completely don't need it. Uh, what else I need? I want the title to be the link. So again, let's click on that dynamic data icon next to the link field and let's select the permalink. Okay, that's great. The link is red because it's probably set in the theme options, but I will change its color later. Okay, let's switch the style tab and add some style to uh, our heading tag. So I want it to be centered and also as I said I want to change uh, the color of this red link so I'm going to do it right now here perfect it's purple just as I wanted it to be uh, what else I need here I think that's it or maybe we have to set some typography no it's great it's exactly the one I've been showing you on the example right so and uh, the next element I want to add is the price, but first I will get back to the featured image because there is one more thing I just simply forgot to set and it's the link because I don't want the image to be just the image, but I want the image to be the link to the product as well. So what I have to do is click on the dynamic data icon over here and select the permalink. Okay, that, that's great. So uh, I can move on right now and let's add the uh, new element. So the next one is going to be the price, uh, which was uh, on my slider. I've been showing you at the beginning of this video. And what I have to do right now is go to its settings, remove the default title and let's set it as a price, this one, perfect. Uh, the other thing is I want it to be paragraph as well, just like the title. Uh, and that's it from this section. Let's switch the style tab and let's center the price to be the same uh, centered as the title. I think I have, I have uh, too large gap between the title and the price so probably what I have to do is just let me check uh, I think it's a yes it's a margin for the title heading so let's go to the advanced spacing tab and let's decrease the margin to maybe, I don't know, five pixels, six, okay, that's fine. Uh, right, so we have the price right now, we have the uh, title, we have the featured image. I think the featured image is, is uh, there is also a too large gap between the featured image and the title, so let's maybe go to, again, to the advanced positioning, uh, sorry, spacing tab of the featured image, and let's maybe change this one to, I don't know, maybe 15 or, yeah, okay, 20 pixels is fine. Okay, and there is one more thing I forgot again to set, is I want the price to be a bold uh, font, so let's go to the style tab of uh, our price, and in the typography, uh, let's say, uh, I will set 600 font way for great. That's exactly what I wanted to do. All right, so we have the uh, featured image, the title of the product and the price. The next thing we need is the button. Okay, so uh, let's add the, let's find the button first and let's add it just underneath the price. And what I have to set is a couple of things like the title, uh, the title was go to product 
if I remember. And the next thing, I want the button to be the link to the product. So let's set the permalink for that button. Uh, what else I need from here? That's fine. I don't need to set anything else. Let's switch to the style tab. And in the container tab, uh, I want this button to be centered aligned, just like the whole rest above. And let's switch to the button tab right now and set a couple of things. Like I want the border to be solid and I want the border to be two pixels. Uh, also, I want to have the border radius uh, to be uh, six pixels. Uh, what else I need is the color of the button and it's gonna be, I think it's the same one as it is on the screen right now, And but it comes from the theme options. So I will check if the color I just wanted to set as the correct one. Uh, okay i just forgot that this is the color for the title so right now the title is the same as the background color and that's why it's not visible just give me a couple of seconds and i will set the other elements uh, the other styles to make it more visible so what else i need is the border color for that button and it's for Okay, uh, and what I need actually is the background color for the button and I want this button to be the white background. Yes, that's exactly the one I had on my slider. <clears throat> I've already shown you at the beginning of this video. And uh, that's basically everything I wanted to set. Just I think I have again to go to the price and in the advanced spacing tab, I have to change the margin for the title to maybe 20 pixels to be the same as the one I already said between the featured image and the title. And I think that's exactly what I wanted to uh, do in this case. Okay, so there is one more thing left that is a bit different from the slider I've shown you at the beginning of the video and these are arrows. So. Uh, Let's get back to the settings of the section. Let's go to the style, arrow tab, and let's style them to be exactly the same as on our main slider. So they were um, a purple background circled arrows, right? So uh, what I have to set right now is the weave for these arrows to be 40 pixels, the same high 40 pixels, uh, size 15 will be perfect. And now let's change the colors. I want the color of these arrows to be white, but the background color, I want to be uh, the purple I've already set for the other elements in this tutorial. Okay, there is actually one more thing left as they are just right now um, not a circle. So to make them circled, I have to set the border radius to 50% and let's set it for each corner. And it's exactly what I wanted to do. I thought that I am ready to populate uh, this page, um, but seems like I forgot to set the border, uh, which is supposed to be around each uh, product. So uh, what I have to do now is switch to the item tab uh, and let's make some necessary adjustments like uh, Let's set 24 padding for the whole slider. Uh, now let's set the one pixel for the top margin, 16 pixels for the right, 
one pixels for the bottom and 16 pixels for the left. Uh, what else I need is I want the border style to be solid, the border to be gray color, the border width I want it to be one pixels for each side and I thought that this is it but it seems like uh, I missed something because uh, this border uh, around the uh, wrap supposed to overlap with uh, the background of the featured image so seems like I have to go to the advanced settings of that featured image and in the spacing tab I think I have to set 0 for the right and 0 for the left margin yes that's exactly yes that's exactly what I wanted to do perfect as you can see in a couple of minutes I was able to create great looking slider based on my needs with the elements I actually need in that specific case with the products on sale only. This means nothing, but you can create your own custom slider and the only thing you can limit is your creativity because using all available features like query loops, dynamic data and all the elements, possibilities are almost infinite and you can basically create any custom slider you can imagine. Hope this tutorial is gonna be useful for some of you, but there is actually another video showing how to make another custom product slider, which you can go to by clicking on the right tab on the left side. So see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching this one.